In this video, we will show you how to set up your DVR to alert you by email whenever your DVR is triggered by motion detection. To do this, we have to first open Internet Explorer and run it as an administrator. We can do this by left-clicking on the startup button, typing in Internet, right-click on Internet Explorer, and run as administrator. Select yes and enter the IP address of your DVR. To navigate to your DVR, if you are on your local network, you will enter your 192.168 IP address. If you are outside of your network, you are going to use whatever external IP you have been assigned. So I'm going to go ahead and enter my IP address. Enter your username and password. And log in. Once you have reached this screen, to change the settings on the DVR, click on the config tab at the top. To access your email settings, we are going to click on Network and then click on Email. From the Email menu, you are going to enter your SMTP server. Currently, the only server that is working with the DVR P series and the DVR PF series is Gmail. So the SMTP server for Gmail is SMTP dot gmail dot com. After you enter your SMTP server, check enable to enable email notifications. The port number for SMTP Gmail is 465 and that goes for any Gmail account. The port is going to be 465 the encrypt type is going to be set to SSL and the username and password are going to be your Gmail account username and your Gmail account password so I'm going to go ahead and enter mine And make sure you enter your at gmail.com at the end of your username. I'm going to enter my password. In the sender line, we are going to re-enter our username. In the subject line, you can choose to label your emails that notify you with a certain title. So right now this says DVR alert. You can change this if you would like, but I'm going to leave it the same. In the receiver lines, you can enter your information if you want to be notified, or you can enter anybody else's email. It doesn't have to be a Gmail account in the receiver lines. So for this I'm going to re-enter my information. Once you have entered all the receivers that you wish to send the email to, you can go ahead and click Save. And then we need to set up motion detection if you have not already set it up. After we save all of our settings, to make sure that the information we entered is correct, 
we are going to send a test email. We can do this by clicking the test button next to save. If the email sent does not reach the sender, this pop-up box will come back test failed, but because our information is correct, it says test succeeded. Select OK. After our test email succeeds, we are going to go to schedule and set up the DVR to be activated by motion during specific times. So we're going to click on schedule under system config. And you'll see here in this menu we have every day of the week and we've got this green bar going across the top. This green bar represents continuous recording which means that we have recording 24 7 on this channel. This is channel 1 and what we're going to do is activate each camera or each channel individually to be motion detection activated. So we can do this by selecting the channel select set next to the day and check the motion detection. In this menu you can of course select more specific times but for this demonstration I am going to select 24 7 what I have it set to right now and I'm going to select all days so I don't have to go through each individual set button and select OK so you can see that now that I have motion detection there's a yellow bar on each day. Make sure while in this step you set each individual channel that you want to be email notifying set to motion detection because the email is going to have to be triggered by something to send that email. So I will set up channel 2 as well. Click set. Click motion detection this is 24-7 and click all days. After you have set the channels that you wish to be motion detection activated and therefore email alerting set, we are going to actually go to detect and set the channels to finally send the email. So on the left hand side under system config you'll see there is a detect in the detect menu we have to make sure that two things in this menu are checked. Once we select the channel and have the event type set to motion detection we need to make sure that the checkbox next to the channel is checked. The second thing that we need to make sure is checked is the send email checkbox. So I'm going to click send email, select the second channel and click on send email again. After we select the checkbox next to the channel and the checkbox next to the send email we want to make sure that we click save. You may have noticed that when I changed the menu from schedule to detect I didn't click save so if I go back to schedule you'll see here that there's no motion detection activated so we really want to make sure that after we exit out of each menu we save before we exit. Another feature that is very useful and a lot of people use is the snapshot settings feature. On the left hand side under the advanced icon you'll see that there's a folder named snapshot. If we click on that we have a few different settings here. These settings in the snapshot menu will allow you to change the resolution and the quality of the pictures taken that are sent to your email. If you want to increase the quality of your picture you can simply click on the drop down menu next to quality and make it a hundred percent or whatever quality you'd like. You can also change the resolution of the picture. You can change this from quarter sif to sif. We have B sif, HD1, which is half D1, D1, and 960H. 
The top of this menu is always going to be the highest resolution possible, and the bottom option is go always going to be the lowest resolution possible. By default, it will usually be set to the highest resolution possible. So I'm going to save my settings at 100% quality and the highest resolution possible. To make sure that your DVR is in fact sending emails, go ahead and navigate to your email and see if it's sent anything. And as you can see here, there is four or five DVR email alerts sent to my email. If you have completed every single one of these steps and your email is still not working, it could be one of two things. The first problem that you might run into is that when you started up your Internet Explorer, you didn't run it as an administrator. In the beginning of this video, we typed in Internet at the Start menu and then right-clicked on Internet Explorer. After that, we clicked on Run as Administrator. If you did not complete this step, you will almost definitely not be able to change your settings on the DVR and save them. So make sure that in the beginning, you do right-click on Internet Explorer from the startup menu and run as administrator. The second problem that you could be having is your primary and secondary DNS could be set to a different address. The default primary DNS is 8.8. .8.8 and the secondary DNS is 8.8.4.4. These settings cannot be changed from the config menu online. You have to actually change these at the physical DVR where you have a monitor attached to the DVR. The primary and secondary DNS settings can be found on the DVR itself by clicking on the main screen, scrolling down to main menu, clicking on settings in the top right hand corner and then clicking on network in the top right hand corner. Thank you for watching this video. If you had any problem with the setup and any step of this process or this didn't work for you for some reason, feel free to give us a call at 716-304-0250.